All right, our next matchup is a, it's a grudge match. We've seen these two guys. They have been at each other's throats for the past few weeks now. And look at this. This is quite shocking to me. Uh, Big Papa B, as he formerly likes to be known as, uh, he told me earlier that he's going to sport a new gimmick, he's a whole new lifestyle, so to speak, and I guess this is just a tip of the iceberg. He calls himself Mr. Cool Daddy now. Got a whole new attire, new music, and everything. I mean, this is definitely different, I'll say that. Ah, uh, different. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just lost for words. I mean, what was he wanted his name? Mr. Cool Daddy, is it? What the hell? I mean, why is he suddenly he changed all of his look and everything? I mean, there's something ha like what's happened. I mean, is something that's gone off in his head or something? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just don't get this, Michael. I don't know. I, it's just, it's all started a couple of weeks ago. You know, he was taking on spectacular and a one-on-one -on -one action. You know, so it's just been a nice one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, respectful match and uh, Spectacular came out as the winner and then Big Papa B attacked him backstage the same night and then it carried on to last week on Rampage that big six man tag match where we saw uh, Spectacular teaming up with Big Papa B and Skull Rider and you know, or Mr. Cool Betty as he likes to be called now turned his back on his partner and left the ring and here we are tonight, it's uh, Spectacular and Mr. Cool Daddy, as he wants to be called. One-on-one uh, -on -one action, I mean, I, I really don't know what to think about it. I mean, maybe it's a, a bit of jealousy or something. I mean, you see Skull Rider, he's uh, in a title match tonight for the Hardcore title, and then you see uh, later on in the main event, Wu-Tang Man, you know, pitching to uh, try to unify the RCW and OFW World title. So maybe Big Papa B just... You know, maybe he just felt left out or something. I don't know. But either way, I think Spectacular is probably going to rip him a new one here tonight. Uh, I, I, I do agree. I think he most probably feels like he's out of the spotlight that wu Tang and School Riders in. But, you know, what he's been doing um, these past few weeks, it might be making a name for himself, but it is uncalled for. But, you know, Mr. Spectacular, I've got to admit, I didn't like him at the start, you know, I didn't like him, but now recently he has been getting fans behind his side, this new image of everything, and I'm just, you know, glad to see Mr. Spectacular as, you know, a fan favourite and adored by the fans. Definitely, he's definitely come a long way, I mean, he, he, you think about it, uh, you know, just a short six months ago, Mr. Spectacular, you know, he was allied with Mr. T, he was Mr. T's uh, number one protege, you know, and, and now look at him, I mean, it's just... It's amazing how somebody can just turn their life around and get back on the right track like that. And now he, as that's right, and he is taking offense in match now. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I want to call him Big Papa B, you know what I mean? I've got to get used to calling him Mr. Cool Daddy. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's just, I, I just, I mean, I understand that you need to make a statement here, like, in wrestling and everything like that. you got to make a statement, but what he's been doing... He's not, you know what I mean, it's more of, I'm going to just hurt you. There's nothing really much saying about making a statement. Yeah, I agree, definitely. You don't make a statement by turning on your best friend. You know, and that's you know, a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. And on the Wu-Tang Clan, I mean, Big Papa B, Skull Rider, and uh, Wu-Tang Man, I mean, there are three originals in RCW. I mean, years ago when RCW was nothing but a backyard fed, you know, these three guys were the, the main guys in it, you know, and now they've all three just seem to go their separate ways, and it's all because of the actions of Mr. Hogan. And now we see, you know, he's in control of the match here. He's got Spectacular right where he wants him. So, uh, this, this is going to be a very interesting match, to say the least. I do agree that, I mean, even though what he's been doing is uncalled for and unnecessary, i got to admit, he does have the talent, and I mean, big Mr. Cool Daddy, I'm sorry, you know, I could see him as a future champion, I could see him, you know, I could see him go places, but with this new attitude, I think he won't get very far, I mean, I'm not saying that he's big headed and, you know, he's got a big ego, but I'm just saying that he will most probably think more about himself than anything else, and he will gonna stop, he'll just take out anything that gets in his way. Right now we see uh, Mr. Cool Daddy is just whipped spectacular to the outside here and stomping away on him right out here in front of the announcer's table. 
And uh, it's been back and forth action since the opening bell here. And these guys have just taken it to one another. And, and now we see Big Papa B or Mr. Cool Daddy or whatever his name is. He's taking that announcer table apart over there, that Spanish announce team. Bye. Now he's got Spectacular up on top of the table, and this does not look good. I know what you mean. I think if it was up to the Spanish announce team, they should really move out of the way here. And now, wait a minute, Spectacular's got up and he's back in the ring. And I, I just, I cannot think in my mind who could win this match because I, I don't, I've been watching RCW and I've seen these two men and fire and everything like that and these two men I think are really equal in power and speed and all around wrestling ability definitely this is probably one of the most awesome matches that Paris Hilton and Stan could have ever put together you know I mean you got two guys here that are the same height same weight you know same build you know everything about them you know and you put them in a, in a match against each other just to see who's the best one and how dare mr cool daddy tell me to push he's sitting there putting his finger no that's just rude very, that is very rude there was no need see there he is again he just told the crowd to shut up but yet he's still trying to win favor on him We're getting no favorites but wait a minute look at this here we go he's setting him up the Papa Driver, which I don't know what he calls it now. I mean, it, it's the same move, but I'm sure he's got a different name for it. Now look at him trying to rally up the crowd. And I'm telling you, he's shockingly the crowd are just not behind him here tonight. Well, that's that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, it's one of those things. But wait a minute, one, this could be one, it. Two. And look at this. What is that all about? He had the match won and he pulls Mr. Spectacular up. I mean, that was just disrespectful in more ways than one here. I, I totally agree. Mr. Spectacular, I've got to say, is out of there. I, I don't know how he could come back after that big pop of drive or whatever he calls it. I don't know how Mr. Spectacular could come back in this match. And I think Mr. Cool Daddy right now, he's just trying to to make a statement and prove a point here to the fans, you know. I mean, he's got the the fans all rallied up and everything, and you know, it's not in the right ways. I mean, the fans have just totally, you know, turned their backs on Mr. Cool Daddy here, and Mr. Cool Daddy has no one to blame for that but himself. I, yeah, that's right. He should not try and get these fans behind him because he he should like know in his mind that the fans will not get behind this man. But look at Mr. Spectacular jumping over. Awesome move here. Mr. Cool Daddy, he goes under the ring there, tries to pull out a sledgehammer. And Mr. Spectacular just took him right out here. This, this is unbelievable. Three. These two men are taking it all the way, but now somehow Mr. Spectacular is on the offense here. And stomping away on Big Papa B or Mr. Cool Daddy. Got him down here outside the ring, and now Spectacular is going back into the ring now. And Cool Daddy's back in right behind him. And Spectacular rushes in with a huge clothesline and takes him back down. Incredible move here. Not letting uh, Mr. Cool Daddy get into the ring and gain his composure here. Uh, this has been unbelievable. That was an impressive clothesline. I think it was a, a running STO if I, if I recall. I'm not too sure. But this match... Oh, now what the hell? Look at this. Oh my God. That was huge. Beautiful. That was a beautiful move. And now we got Spectacular. He's going up top here. And there's a huge elbow drop right to the stomach here of the one Mr. Cool Daddy. And here we go. We know what's coming next. Yes. Oh, Spectacular Bomb. There we go. This has got to be it. Here's the cover. And one. Oh, that was, that was an amazing. Unbelievable. That was amazing. Spectacular out of nowhere. Just came back, showing the offense, and won the match against the new Mr. Cool Daddy. That was a very impressive matchup. And, I mean, that just goes to show, uh, I think Spectacular proved it here. You know, you got to have fans behind you here if you're going to make it, you know? Don't turn your back on the fans. And uh, we got a lot more action, Daniel, so let's just see what's next.